You're about to learn how to create a talking AI avatar video for free and all you need to do is type in some text or upload any document and it will look and sound something like this. Follow the link down in the description to open up the free AI video generator from Synthesia and to get started you have four different options. You can just type in a summary of any idea that you have, you can paste in a script that you've already written or you can use some other written content that you've already created. A 2024 study showed that 83% of people prefer watching videos rather than reading text. So Synthesia is a really great tool for turning those boring text documents into something much more entertaining. So you can link directly to any web page or blog posts that you've written and you can upload any text-based document whether that's a pdf a word doc or a powerpoint presentation and the ai is going to take those existing files and turn them into an engaging avatar video but if you are starting from scratch and you don't really know where to start you can also use these prompts at the bottom here just to get you on your way now I'm going to create my video by typing in a prompt and as you can see I have 500 characters to describe my idea. So the more detailed I can be the better. I actually typed my basic idea into ChatGPT and asked it to write me a prompt within that character limit so I can now copy and paste that back into Synthesia and hit generate free AI video. Now at this point you do need to make a free account so you can save your video at the end and you'll then be dropped into the AI video assistant where it's now creating an outline for my idea about how to fry an egg like a Michelin star chef. So now I've got a preview of what each scene is going to look like including an AI avatar, some stock footage and a nice clean layout and I've also got a script of what the avatar will say on the right hand side next to it. Now bear in mind that this is just a first draft so if you're not seeing exactly what you had in mind you can still make plenty of changes from this point onwards. You can start by changing the look of your video by going back to the templates library and choosing a design that you think works better. As you can see inside the library here there are a lot of different templates with different avatars and text styles and once we get inside the video editor in the next stage of the process you'll see that you can customize everything you see on screen so you're not tied down to exactly what the template looks like. You can also change the length of the video from the drop down menu and specify even more details at the bottom here and again the more details that you add about the audience and the tone the better the final outcome is going to be and to reflect all of those changes you just need to hit recreate outline and the page will refresh. When you're happy with your outline you can either export the video straight away by hitting generate generate video or you can open up the Synthesia editor to make even more adjustments. And the great thing about this part of the process is that you don't even need to know how to edit videos because editing inside Synthesia is a lot more like building a PowerPoint presentation. So as you can see there's a list of scenes over on the left hand side and when you click on them you can see a preview of what each part of your video looks like along with the automatic images and b-roll that's been added based on your original prompt. You can also see the video script that your avatar will speak down in this box at the bottom and we can preview what it all looks like by hitting play. So you can see the animations there, we can hear the avatar voice in the background but don't panic when your avatar doesn't move in this preview that is completely normal and once we export the final version it will move with lip sync. So now let's take the video to the next level by customizing. I could start by changing the video script to anything I want just like I would in a Word document and I can also change the avatar itself. Just hover over the speaker options, click on the current avatar and hit new speaker which opens up a whole library of AI avatars that can present your video. And as you can see there are a lot of different avatars to choose from. Some of them have realistic backgrounds already added to them and some of them have their background removed like the one that's currently on my template. Now with a free account you don't get access to all of the avatars but you do get a very good selection and if you choose to upgrade you can actually replace these stock avatars with a realistic clone of yourself that looks and sounds exactly like you. And what you just watched explaining this section is actually my personal avatar talking for me. So you can select any free avatar which drops it onto the canvas and you can also hit replace all to change that host for all of your scenes. But I'll be honest with you I preferred that original avatar with the background removed so I'm just going to hit undo at the top to return to the default. Now at this point you can still change the overall layout and template for your video by going over to the menu on the right hand side and again there are a lot of different options to choose from and your current script won't be changed. It will just update the animations and the overall look of the video. It won't change any of the speech. But again I think I'm going to stick with the original option because I actually do really like that template and I can now edit everything else I see on screen just like I would in a PowerPoint presentation. I can click into a text box and replace the text with whatever I want it to say and I can also edit the font and size of the text over on the right hand side. You can also move any objects within the frame by clicking and dragging them and the animations won't be affected it all moves with them. 
I can also replace any images or logos like this one here, which is currently just a placeholder. I can just select that, hit replace image, and then I can either choose something from the stock image library, or I can upload my own logo from my computer by hitting upload media, selecting the file that I want to use, and there we go, it's updated it on the page. And I can replace any stock videos in the exact same way. In this scene, it's picked a stock video clip that is really nice, but it's not really that relevant to what the avatar is talking about. So I can just select it, hit replace video, and I can search for any stock footage from the stock footage library. There are thousands of clips in here. So when I type in eggs, I can just select a different piece of footage that suits my story. And when I click on one, it gets replaced automatically, keeping the same size and position of the original video clip. So you can go ahead and update anything you see in the slides that have been created for you, but you can also change the structure of the video entirely. You can delete any scenes that don't work for you, and you can add brand new scenes. Just select the new scene option in the top left, select a new layout from the library, and once again, I can edit any text, I can replace the stock images and the videos, and I can add whatever voiceover I want my avatar to speak, and I can add as many scenes as I like. Another very simple thing that makes videos much more entertaining to watch is adding background music. And all you need to do is flick the switch over on the right hand side and open up the music menu. And in here you can search for any genre or style that you want to use. And it automatically places any music clip at around 10%, which is a pretty good level so that it doesn't drown out the speech of your avatar. You never want the music to be too distracting, especially when you're trying to educate people. Once you're finished editing, hit generate in the top right and you'll then have the option to remove the watermark and burn in some captions before you hit generate once again. Now, don't worry if you still want to make more changes after you've exported. On the next page, you could hit edit and go back into the editor as many times as you want. And if you upgrade to the paid plan, you get a lot more features. On this free plan, you can still share your video with anyone you want. And my final product looks like this. Ever wanted to fry an egg like the pros? Well, you're about to learn the secret methods of Michelin star chefs in just three simple steps. We'll cover the best place to source your eggs, the best method for frying, and how to serve it up like Gordon Ramsay. But if you want to learn how to replace those stock avatars with an AI clone of yourself, you need to watch the video on screen right now where I go through the entire process of making a personal avatar.